Со се не па, па на гица Every child saved with my help is the justification of my existence on this earth, and not a title to glory. Irina Sendler. Welcome to Things You Should Know, People Edition. Today we'll talk about a woman responsible for rescuing 2,500 Jewish children during World War II from the Nazis. Her name was Irina Sendler. Irina was born on February 15, 1910 in Warsaw to a physician and his wife. Irina's father died when she was seven from typhus he had contracted from treating patients that other doctors refused to treat such as the Jews that lived in Warsaw. In return, the Jews offered to help Irina's mother pay for Irina's education after her father passed, in appreciation for what her father had done for them. Irina studied Polish literature in Warsaw and eventually joined the Polish Socialist Party. She was, however, suspended from the university when she protested the segregation adopted by the university, which separated Jewish students from the rest. When the Nazis invaded Poland in 1939, she began to help the Jews immediately. During the Nazi occupation, she led a group that created more than 3,000 fake identities to aid Jewish families in hiding. After some time doing this, Irina joined the Zogada Resistance, a Polish resistance group, and she began to actively hide the Jewish people, which carried a death sentence if she was caught. During this time, Irina was known as Jolanta, and in 1943, she was put in charge of the Jewish children's section of Zagada, whose purpose was to aid Jews in any way they could. Because of her position in the social welfare department, which the Germans tolerated, she was allowed in and out of the Warsaw Ghetto to check people for typhus, the same disease her father died of while treating Jewish patients who were ill. During her visits to the ghetto, Irina adopted the Star of David as a sign of solidarity with the Jewish population in the ghetto. During Irina's visits, she smuggled out babies and small children in the ambulances and trams they used. She even smuggled babies out as small packages. Once the children were rescued, they were placed with Polish families. Irina's luck ran out in 1943. She was arrested, beaten, and tortured by the Gestapo. This included fracturing both her feet and legs. Even through this torture, she refused to give up any information. Irina had been able to hide all incriminating evidence and money that would trace back to others. She was sentenced to death by a firing squad and sent to Pawak prison to be killed. Fortunately, members of the underground movement Zagata was able to bribe the guards at the prison. They released Irina and listed her as killed. She was not daunted, though, and continued as much as she could in assisting the resistance in rescuing Jewish children while she was in hiding. After the war, she and her co-workers gathered all the records with the names and locations of the hidden Jewish children and gave them to their Zagata colleague Adolf Berman and his staff at the Central Committee of Polish Jews. Almost all of the children's parents had been killed at Treblinka extermination camp or had gone missing. In 1945, Irina married Mysislaw Sendler. But it wasn't to last. They were divorced in 1947. She then shortly thereafter married her second husband, Stefan Zegarzemski, a Jewish friend from her time at the university. This was a more successful marriage, resulting in three children, Janina, Adrez, and Adam. However, the marriage ended in 1959 when she remarried her first husband, Mysislaw. However, you guessed it, they divorced not long after that as well. In the early 1960s, even though Irina was quiet and did not promote what she had done, her work was publicized and she began to receive accolades. In 1965, she received recognition as one of the Polish Righteous Among the Nations by Yad Vashem, with a tree planted in her honor at the entrance of the Avenue of the Righteous at Yad Vashem. Her accolades continued into the early 21st century. In 2001, she was awarded a second Commander's Cross with the Star of the Order of Polonia Restuda. Later in 2003, the Catholic Church recognized Irina. Pope John Paul II sent Irina a personal letter praising her efforts during the war. She also received Poland's highest civilian decoration, the Order of the White Eagle, in October of 2003. Later that same year, the American Center of Polish Culture in Washington, D.C. awarded her the Jan Karski Award for Courage and Heart. Irina was honored at the age of 97 by the Polish Senate. While she was unable to leave her nursing home, she sent a statement through Elzbieta Fakowska, whom Sendler had saved as an infant. At this time, the Polish government nominated Irina for the Nobel Peace Prize, and this was backed by the State of Israel through the Prime Minister Ehud Olmert and the Organization of Holocaust Survivors. Sadly, she did not win that year as Al Gore and the Panel on Global Warming won the award. However, on April 11, 2007, she received the Order of the Smile and is the oldest recipient of this award. Irina lived in Warsaw for the rest of her life and died in Warsaw on May 12, 2008, at the age of 98. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, take care. 
Σω σε με πάν, πάν να γυρσάμουν.